The title of this demo is Containers That Can Make or Break Your Perfect Supply Chain. But perfect is a pretty relative term. It can mean a lot of things like efficient, safe, low cost, or sustainable. Let's just say that containers, pallets, and bulk boxes play a key role in transporting and protecting products, and they deserve at least as much attention as the equipment, shelving, and automation that they work with. I mean, just imagine what would happen if all containers and bulk boxes disappeared. Everything would come to a grinding halt. Ultimately, your perfect supply chain depends on the totes, bins, bulk boxes, and pallets that you choose because they can all work together to make your supply chain low cost and high performance, or they can break your supply chain by doing the exact opposite. I'm going to show you a few different ways today, and hopefully they'll provide some inspiration and helpful watchouts in the choices you make in your supply chain. First is plastic pallets. If you're still using wood, it's time to step up. Why? Their durability and reusability lowers your pallet costs. In a lot of cases, they never wear out, even after hundreds of uses. Wooden pallets break, which can be a real problem when they're racked up high. Broken wood planks and nails can hurt people and damage products too. Plastic pallets eliminate these risks and bring a uniformity advantage because they can be molded precisely to hold your containers or products efficiently while minimizing space. Plus, they allow high cube utilization. That's a term we use a lot. The idea is items that have a smaller footprint in your facility help you get the highest return per square foot of real estate. Cube utilization is important when it comes to bulk boxes as well. The best bulk boxes make the most of existing space all the while protecting your products. Bulk boxes aren't a commodity. They have to be made specifically for the need. They can have a 500 to 3,500 pound capacity, so they have to be strong. Otherwise, they can collapse and ruin your product or even injure your employees. At the same time, they have to balance ease of use and efficiency. Smart features like these gates provide maximum capacity while enabling workers safe and easy access. Bulk can refer to a lot of things. We have this one customer who does post-disaster restoration and uses bulk bins for their fans and dehumidifiers. They need to be protected in storage and during transport, but can't take up a lot of room when stacked. Molded plastic proves to be the best for integrity, space efficiency, and minimizing weight. Keeping items and products organized and protected is make or break when it comes to hopper front bins. These hardworking containers are everywhere in some facilities. The right design is created specifically for the products being stored and the people using them. Features, colors, and accessories enable fast, safe work. Having a system-wide view and carefully choosing sizes is essential for setting up an efficient workflow and maximizing cube utilization. If you're not, you're wasting real estate and money. For hopper front bins that are handled manually, as well as by ASRS, like horizontal carousels, precision is key. That's why Flexcon offers over 6,000 sizes of standard and custom hopper front containers. Sizing is make or break when it comes to ASRS and conveyors. If the dimensions of the totes are off, they'll crash your system. And every brand of ASRS has its own requirements. If your ASRS equipment is spec for a non-standard size, you're going to have to custom order. It's one more reason why it's always best to address container sizes at the same time you're designing your system or shelving for that matter. That way you can make sure the system is built for standard size bins, which are always more cost effective. If standard bins aren't an option, you'll need to go the custom molded plastic route or consider corrugated plastic. For us at Flexcon, corrugated plastic is a catch-all that fills gaps of almost anything we're doing custom. We use it for a lot of containers in some very large operations using advanced systems. The best choice of materials always depends on the customer situation. Much of our job at Flexcon involves analyzing the customer's systems, products, and facilities because every customer's needs are at least a little different. Take ASRS totes. Every ASRS is unique in its own way and they're all sensitive. You have to keep an eye on every little detail of the container design for tolerances, durability, and cube utilization. A great example is an attached lid container we designed and produced for a pharmaceutical distributor's ASRS system that had to perform on a pick line and then be sealed up and shipped and reused again and again. 
In this particular case, the customer came to us because the containers they bought from another supplier were off by a fraction of an inch. They were constantly crashing their ASRS and costing them a lot of money. We came in and worked with the customer's other vendors to design a solution and then create a new mold and containers that got them back online. It's an important illustration of how treating containers as an afterthought can really break you. Just a few weeks ago, we were able to save one client from a half million dollar mistake that would have set their production schedule back four months. We were able to identify that the trays they'd spec were too tall, saving them from a costly mistake. Which leads to the last make or break lesson of this video. Involve your container supplier early in the game, please. That's the way to ensure you're getting containers that make your supply chain perfect by making the most of your automation, your workers' time, your investment, and your warehouse space. Learn more about these innovations and many more that can perfect your supply chain by talking with the FlexCon team.